What's going on everybody? Uh, Sliding Dutchman here and today I wanted to make a little uh, drift uh, tutorial for you guys because I noticed that I can... Wait, I should turn the sound down a bit. Give me a second because the remote is not within my reach. Okay, so uh, I noticed that a lot of people were having trouble drifting as well on the controller uh, as on the wheel and it's mainly due to having the proper setup and I've been fiddling around with it a lot because I wanted to be able to drift, be able to drift and I found a pretty good setup and I can even say that it has similar um, qualities uh, of um, uh, Grand, uh, sorry, Grand Turismo, or playing Grand Turismo, uh, Assetto Corsa. That means it's not like Assetto Corsa, but it has similarities in the drifting physics. So, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my drift car out. Uh, I'll show you guys just a few laps around. Uh, share my setup with you guys for the wheel and my previous setup, uh, which was a little bit less comfortable for me. I think it's better now, but the previous one was set on Comfort Hard because that's how everyone always drifted on GT. I'm not using Comfort Hard anymore. Um, but the Comfort Heart setup uh, turned out to be really good on a controller. I've not really tried it because I, I just play GT only with the wheel. But uh, I noticed that uh, a few of my friends who only had controllers, I was sharing them uh, my setup and they were like, dude, this setup is perfect. It's so easy to drift on the controller. So uh, that way I just have a... Um, uh, Yeah, here we go. Um, since this is a live stream, I have my phone here. Uh, if there are any questions midstream, uh, you can ask and shoot. Just put it in the comments of the video, and I can answer them now, just right away, because I have my screen open here. Um, so, without any further ado, let's get a car. For me, the best drifting car is the uh, Toyota GT86. This is don't my Kanjo project. It's not done yet. Uh, I've made several liveries, but kind of like this one, the Falcon FD one. But I'm going to gonna go for this one. Why do you have so much 86s? Well, I don't know. One of the better, I think it's the best drift car. And also, um, I cannot pick one livery. This is, oh, this is so cool. This is also cool. Oh, and then I have a new idea and then start putting one there. So I have multiple, the same cars with different liveries. Anyway, uh, what you need to do is uh, get this car, the Toyota 86, but it's the GRMN class. It's the one with the spoiler. It's not a group four. Um, and it's not the stock one either. So, and it, yes, it makes a difference. Group 4 is mainly some, a little bit harder to drift. But, uh, so here we go. Just let's go to an arcade. Uh, drift, I nah, just, oh no, we're just gonna go online because then we can just do infinite slides show setups oh, should have turned the music off maybe it will get copyrighted because of it but um, Driscott lobby also if you guys want to slide with me or one of my friends uh, our group is called Driscott on the PS4 we're a drifting community 
and we play mainly Assetto Corsa and now a lot of people start playing GT as well. Uh, I also, if, if I wanted to create rooms like this, uh, I call them Drift Squad, so if you look for a room called Drift Squad, or I don't know if that's possible though, in Assetto it is, but... Also, if you want any one of these liveries, I've set them online, this one is not done yet because there's going to be a big Drift Squad logo on the side, but um, if you're in interested in getting these liveries, uh, you can look them up through my profile. My name is uh, X Wortel X. It's kind of weird. It's a Dutch name, but uh, it's X W O R T E L X, and they're all there, and you can just download them for free. Uh, let's go into the settings first. Um, in this case I have the power on full, you can do a little less, but I don't know, I, uh, almost, I'm using fourth now almost, because of the high power and it works great. Um, so I can call everything, but you can also see it, I'm running on comfort hearts, uh, sorry comfort mediums, because the hearts are just too much sliding on ice. It's you, you car, your car is just not going forward. Uh, for the people who are using a, a wheel and shifter, uh, if you have the... Um, oh, we'll come to that later, it's on the bottom. Uh, brake balance, I have it all the way to the rear, that way your normal brake feels a bit like a uh, handbrake or it just unsettles the car because it's just the rear wheels that are braking a little bit more than the front. Uh, the ride height, natural frequency, frequency. Um, important, two things, if you run mediums, I notice that if you put the camber levels up uh, and you run tires like mediums and you counter steer and you get like a certain angle, the tires will grip up so crazy and it will just throw you out. So low camber angles at the front is really key for drifting like comfort mediums. You can put it up a little bit higher if you're running uh, comfort hard, but if you're going for medium or soft, 0.5 is more than enough, and you will see that it's uh, a lot more forgiven. Also, the toe angle I've maxed it out because if you can see toe in and out on the on the oh wait that's here exactly there. Um, when you're drifting, your outside tire is having the much uh, the most load on them. Uh, so if your tires are standing like a little bit outward already, like this, uh, at the moment you steer, your outside tire is going to be able to go further than the inside tire. But because of the most pressure, the most load is on the outside tire, that's really the tire that's gripping up the most. So if you have your toe angle out to the maximum, you can increase the angle you can hold. It's still no crazy angle mods, but it, it helps, I think. Uh, I have to toe in uh, on 6.0 because of uh, keeping the rear a bit uh, stable. Because if you do the same thing, toe, toe out on the rear tires, then you can imagine that if you look at the, the top there, if the tires are out all the way, then it will just starts to search for, for I don't know, it just wants to overtake the front, left or right, whatever. So it's very really unstable that way. Um, my diff, I don't have it on too much crazy values. Uh, and the transmission is on normal. Why is that on normal? If you don't have a clutch, if you don't have a shifter, put a other transmission in it because it's way faster, the sequential, where you can use the flippers. But with a normal one, you can still use the clutch. If you change that and you have a clutch, you cannot clutch anymore. Um, you can still shift like one, two, three, four. But uh, I think if you have a clutch, it's you're in a bit of an advantage because you can clutch in, counter steer, and the car will pull itself straight. Um, you don't spin out as much. Sometimes you will ruin your drift with it, but still. Um, now the only thing, uh, if you're not on a wheel and you're on a controller, the only thing you need to change is well the transmission, you can put the other one in because it's faster and more direct. Uh, the only thing you need to change is the back to comfort hard because 
maybe this all also works but I have not heard that much positive feedback on this setup the previous one they said was perfect put Kong for the hearts on there and try to put your camber angle like 2.3 it was I think yeah somewhere around that like 2.0 2.3 uh, and then with Comfort uh, Hearts and it's basically the same car that way so without further ado let's just get into drifting oh we got H and Michael and Dort tapping in here they're also from the community they see the lobby up and they just <laughs> join straight away Uh, I drift in hood view because I think just the, the cam behind the car is a bit, I don't know, it's it's weird. <laughs> and then uh, let's not go crazy in the first corner. Also if you're using the clutch uh, yourself manually and you've noticed that with Comfort Hearts if you're spinning you can only shift up uh, when you have the right RPM so if you're just like crazy ass spinning like this and you don't have the speed I cannot go to four I need to drop the RPMs let it and then it works so that's that's kind of shitty so sometimes you will have a miss shift um, but anyways um, let's go into drifting just flick it in a bit don't go too crazy on the angle just try to feel the car. Oh. Still grips up a bit sometimes. But you can be pretty uh, hammering down the throttle. This is my first lap of the day, so I'm sorry if I really suck. <laughs> In this case, it's not the car, it's me. Oh. Some are coming. I... Yeah, I don't want a tender now. So I'm gonna suck. Just a little clutch kick in my case, but with the controller just flick it in. And you can see that with the... Uh, come on, find the balance. With the... Um, comfort mediums you can maintain so much more speed and it, it I don't know you can feel the way uh, the which direction the front tires are going so you can really steer the car the way you want to he's out with the Mustang also I think it's uh oh thanks man Sideways incorporated reply with sick man. Um, so if you've missed, uh, if you just joined in and you missed the setup, uh, just wait till the stream is over and you can look it up, watch it back, and then uh, uh, he's asking, does this game feel better than Assetto to drift on? Well, um, no. Quite frankly, no. Assetto is still the better game. But um, if you have a wheel, then I think GT Sport and Assetto are one of the games you really need to have because they're just so good. And it's it's kind of similar to Assetto in a way because of how the car behaves, but it feels different because it's a completely different game. But it has similarities. And I think if you can really drift in Assetto like this, then you will not have any big issues drifting on this. It just takes some practice because it's a different game and it just works differently. So Assetto is still the game to, to go to when it comes to drifting, but we have different cars here, we can make our own liveries, we have different tracks and also the racing is just quite fun because I think the racing is a bit more, or the car control is a bit more easy, not on the drifting part, but at least on the racing part. So you're battling with each other more than you're battling with the car, like in a Assetto with certain cars. So you're just battling to keep the car on the track and then if you can gain positions then it's, it's great, but... 
and I really like that because it's just really competitive this game. And sorry for the squeaks, this is my brake pedal, I need to grease it up a little. Let's try fourth. Need to keep it in the lower RPMs now. But as you can see, I think this is nicer because it's more stable. Maybe if I had the other transmission I can really uh, stretch out the gears and then I can still use the third gear. Oh. But um, then I don't have a clutch and I just, I just want the clutch just to be able to save it. Because now when I drive like a group 4 car which doesn't have a clutch, I try to drift it, you just keep tapping the clutch and nothing happens so it's really messing you up. But like for instance, like this, I'm going, oh! Not a good example. I was trying to over rotate a bit and then just press the clutch and see, let you guys see what, what happens. Because normally if you go just too far, I have someone behind me. Let's just do over rotate in the last corner and then. Uh... That way I'm not fucking up those guys' drifts. Oh, and then I'm on the stair. Fuck. But like this. Clutch in, stare back, and it catches itself. I hit the, the the grass and the barrier in this case, but it turns back. And normally you would just keep spinning around and just not making anything of it. Um, now, if you think I want to try this setup, uh, feel free to, to use it. Uh, but if you do, I only have one request. Um, put it in the comments of this video what you think of it uh, because uh, that way I have a good reference if it's any good enough because maybe it's just my style that I really like but if you see my my hands and my steering is not that all over the place constantly especially not in fourth because it's a bit more balanced then But um, yeah, just let me know what you think of the setup, uh, wheel or controller, please let me know uh, which one are you using. And if you think, well, this is really good, then please like the video or even subscribe if you want to see more content, because uh, I have been away for a while while GT happened and I was playing this game for myself, <laughs> not really making YouTube videos, but I noticed that a lot of people were struggling with it. So I just decided to make a little how-to video, or at least how I do it. Uh, this not necessarily means this is the way to do it or whatever, but it's, it's all a matter of, of preference, right? Also this car, I think it's just the best car for drifting so far. Um, for me, I don't like cars over like 400, 500 horsepower for drifting, because uh, a lot of the high horsepower cars just tend to spin out and if you have a little less horsepower you really need to push it to keep the RPMs up uh, and you can see the RPMs climbing like uh, like you see in, in fourth gear and if you even in fourth gear just ah, bah, 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 it just there's no stability in that and I think by doing this you can hear it just climb and you're so much more precise that way with the speed you're having and the, the way the tires spin. Because the faster the tires spin, the less grip you have and the easier it is for you to over rotate. That's why I'm in lower RPMs in fourth gear than I'm in third gear because I'm kind of going the same speeds. It's like 80, 90 and then dropping down now. But. Uh, also Suzuka East just best track for drifting because it's just easy left right left right corners just to practice uh, transitions also I'm running the 900 degrees on the steering wheel uh, I heard some people going to like 360 
but I think the car will get really nervous because of it. A little bit too, too soon. <laughs> Good attempt though. Here we go. <laughs> so close. But as you can see, it it does not it, it's not that hard. It feels smooth. The car is smooth. And yeah, if you think this is too grippy, you can go back to the Comfort Hearts and turn the... It's the same as the controller setup, because that's what I was using before. Um, you can change the tires to Comfort Hearts and then put the, the, the camber up to 2.0, 2.3, around there. And it also works in Comfort Heart, but then you really have to slow down for each corner and not having too much entry speed, because there's not a lot of grip to really turn the car and place it to where you want. Made it. Oh, also, of course, my PSN uh, name is in the screen right now, so if you look for that, you can find the deliveries I've done on the cars, like the Falcon one and these few drift sport versions. Uh, they're not done yet, this is just a base template, and as soon as the delivery editor from the, the PC comes in, I will be able to make decent logos and then put those logos on here. I just made it like a base color and stuff. And then imagining... Oh! Imagining this doing uh, in VR, I mean, it feels so good. It's almost like a set out. It has similarities in the in the driving style because I was always struggling with GT6 to drift on, and I really learned to like drift virtually on the uh, on a set out. And I just took that knowledge and the skills and, and everything I've learned, and well, it just cost me a day and I was like this level and then a few days later I found the perfect tweak on the tune and so if <laughs> I hate to say it to you but if you're not able to drift with this setup uh, if you're on the wheel or even with the controller it's it's not the setup it's you if I fail it's not the setup it's me because I don't know it's just I heard a lot of um, uh, positive feedback on, um, on this setup from the people where that I drift and race with. So yeah, please, uh, please feel free to check it out. Uh, it's somewhere at the beginning of the video for the people that are just starting to watch the, the stream now. Um, I'm gonna leave it with this. Uh, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments after the stream because when the stream ends all the comments will be deleted um, so after the stream you can put your questions in there and I will be happy to answer them even make another video to explain maybe if, in, if so needed uh, if I get another uh, car another drift tune good one I'm just having too much fun in this car but uh, when I find another good one, because I have some decent ones, but I'm not really, I don't know. It's not a setup that I would say, oh, I'll share it because it's so good. So when I get a perfect tune on the other ones, I will be sure to make a video of that and just share my uh, tunes with you guys. Because 
at the end of the day I can keep it all to myself and, and show off how good uh, of a drifter I am because of my setup or whatever but I really like the fact that if we just all share uh, we will all get good and the higher the quality of drifters are the better I'm getting get my tendons on because if other people can drift really well then I can you're just as good as your as your tandem leader basically <laughs> so thank you guys for watching if you like the video please leave it a like uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see more of this content setups information about drifting racing games in general please subscribe uh, and I'll see you guys on the next video thanks for watching peace